Saurabh says, how did the Britishers mold the Varna Jati system into the caste system? We know that caste comes from the root word casta, which is a Portuguese word. What's the difference between casta and the Varna Jati system? And Rahul says, <laughs> Rahul says, oh, what a bullshit you are speaking, Abhijit. If the caste system was invented by the British, then why do the Nepalese follow the system, even though they were never colonized by the British? And one of the reasons for the creation of Sikhism is the caste issues in Hinduism. Check your fast facts first, Abhijit. You're talking bullshit. This is a problem I, I face almost every day. And no matter how many facts I put forth, people are unwilling to, to see. Sikhism was not created in a response to us, it's some imagined caste system in Hinduism. Sikhi was a response to foreign imperialism and foreign occupation of India by the, by the Turks. That's that was the purpose of the of the of the creation of Sikhi or what we call Sikhism. It has nothing to do with so-called caste system. The Nepalese don't follow a caste system; they follow the Varnajati system. Now, let me once again put some facts in case some of you may understand it. I I know that most of my audience is really intelligent, which is why they watch the, the Ask Abhijit show. But uh, in case there are some newcomers or some <laughs> some others as well, let me put some facts. Let's let's take a look at this. So if I show you an article or a book written by an Indian, you will not believe it. This is part of the mental colonization. If I show you something, an article or a book written by an Indian, you will not believe it. So I have to show you articles and books written by foreigners. That's the unfortunate mental colonization that we've seen in India. So here's one. The Western Foundations of the Caste System. It's by Martin Farrick, Duncan Jalki and, and two Indians, right? So this is a book I would recommend that you read because it talks about the Western foundation of the caste system. Let me show you a review of this book, right? That's a book summary as well. I'll put it on the screen so that you can study it yourself. I would request you to do some reading of your own. Yes, this is a book summary. You can look it up online. You know what the title is. Western Foundations of the Caste System, and it, it's a four-part review. This is the first part of the, of that review. This is one article. Please study this. You need to do some reading of your own to understand things. You cannot simply blindly believe what you have been taught, which you have not really studied on your own. So this is something I would re recommend that you read. Now let me give you some more references. There is another book. Once again, I'm giving you a foreign author because you will not trust Indian authors because you have this inferiority complex, some of you. This book is called Casts of Mind, Colonialism and the Making of Modern India. It's by Nicholas B. Dirks, who is a very prominent and, and, and very well-respected American academic. Yes, it's called Casts of Mind, Colonialism and the Making of Modern India. Let me show you some more. I, I would like you to read this, read all of this that I'm telling you. Don't trust me. Don't don't fact check what I am sh telling you. And how will you fact check by looking at all, by reading all this, by studying all this? Here's a different article. It's uh, it's by a person called Akbar Dosanj, caste as a colonial creation. The discussion around UK legislation on caste dis discrimination is too quick to forget how much it was Britain which invented the system in the first place, the so-called caste system. The words of the British superintendent of the 1921 census are still poignant. Poignant today, we pigeon hold everybody by caste. And if we could not find a true caste for them, we labeled them with the name of the hereditary occupation. We deplore the caste system and its effect on social and economic problems. But we, the British, are largely responsible for the system we deplore. Do you know? How to, do you see this? Let me show you some more. It's so sad that I have to keep on doing this every single time and people just don't understand. This is an article called The Indian Caste System in the British. I would like you to read this article, please. It says, I'm just showing you a small excerpt. Moreover, as will be seen later in this paper, it appears that the caste system extant in the late 19th and early 20th century has been altered as a result of British actions, so that it increasingly took on the characteristics that were ascribed to it by the British. You see that? Please study this article in its entirety. 
you want to understand things you have to do some research some work of your own here's one more i'm going to i'm going to throw a whole bunch of data at you today because i'm tired of this nonsense do you trust the bbc yes you trust the bbc i'm, I'm sure it's not indian right so you it's it's from from the uk so you have to trust it viewpoint how the british reshaped india's caste system yeah and here's an excerpt um in a new book the truth about us whatever i show how the social categories of religion and caste as they are perceived in modern day india were developed during the british colonial rule at a time when information was scarce and the colonizers power over information was absolute so once again it tells you that the british created this so called caste system right okay let me show you some more yeah let's uh, let's see the, let's see the greek perspective because the, the, the british perspective is not enough i'm sure for you all so this is uh, the 300 bc book indica by megasthenes dispels caste theories of india so what does it tell us right uh, what's point number 5 the indians this is what megasthenes the the greek ambassador to india during the mauryan times this is what he said this is what he wrote the indians generally were divided into seven categories the wise men which is interpreted as brahmins then the farmers the herdsmen the artisans the soldiers the overlookers and the government officials including army and navy officers there were seven categories not castes 2 and 1/2000 years ago there was no caste system right there were seven classes not four not four seven classes that's what the greeks found in india let me show you more let me show you more come on let's do this let's do it properly today this is an inscription from birchabalitika uh, tila agra sikri about a thousand years ago okay there was no caste there was only gotra 1000 years ago let's see what this inscription says there is an image of the inscription and there are translations into hindi and english om siddham the shrestis of sanchamara and bhallik bhallikya gotras installed the image of shri shruti devi saraswati in the habitat of the muni so and so forth and so and so forth it does not mention any caste any so called caste in it only mentions gotra which means the lineage the lineage the family line let's see some more this is an article by dr david frawley he is an american he is a hindu so you, you you may not trust him perhaps right you need somebody who's not a hindu but le- let me show you show it to you anyway why varna is not caste this is by dr david frawley it's from about 6 years ago please read the article i'm not going to read it out over here so this is another reference that i'm offering you let's see some more let us see some more do you know that there were four divisions of society in china what does it remind you of four occupations four categories of the people was an occupation classification used in ancient china by confucian and legalist scholars yes and you find that later in it outside china in japan which <laughs> the so called japanese castes these were not castes but in english they call everything a caste this is the myopic world view of the west they are saying that the japanese also had castes these were not castes but they are calling the you know the nomenclature they are using is caste now you said that caste is bad because it's all about uh, hereditary occupations right yeah so what about the the english occupation england surnames they derived from occupations hereditary occupations most of them originated in medieval towns and villages in england like carter like hayward like thatcher smith taylor yeah boatwright cartwright shipwright wainwright turner goddard cowherd web webster weaver Dempster, Franklin, Knight, Marshall, Page, Squire, Chamberlain, Duke, Earl, Pope, Priest, etc. These are all hereditary occupations that have been passed on from generation to generation, just like in India, in England. But in India, it's bad. In England, it's fine, right? Because hereditary passing on of anything is bad because that is the caste system, apparently. <laughs> But uh, I, I hope I have, I have. given enough information for all of you to use your own intelligence to understand what the truth is about please do some reading of your own 
please do some deep study of of your own don't fall prey to dogmatic thinking which is accepting the results and in, in the products of other people's thinking please think on your own please study things yourselves otherwise don't come and say such things oh what <laughs> what bullshit you are speaking abhijit i mean come on come on so yeah that's what i have to say about caste and about nepal nepal follows the jati varna system jati means whatever lineage you have essentially gotra there are various jatis there are there's a whole bunch of jatis hundreds maybe thousands of jatis in in, in the indian subcontinent yeah jati in varna varna means whatever occupation you have so various jatis would have different varnas within them it's a very complex system the british could not understand it that's why they over simplified it into four castes that's what they did i think i have demonstrated i have given you enough references please study them spend a few weeks reading all this only then will you understand the truth it is very easy to dis- to misinform people by over simplifying things and then to counter the misinformation you have to study you need to spend lots of time studying so in case you respect yourselves and would like to actually learn something the truth then please study this that's what i would recommend and request you to do